All right, good morning, guys. We are in the beautiful town of Lake Geneva. We got the lake right there. I got my coffee ready, and we are doing a 20 plus mile loop today. So, this is a pretty cool little decor place right here, but we're heading this way towards Lake Geneva, and we're gonna go all around, loop all around the lake, look at the houses. And uh, this is the historical street. Alright guys, it is 7.51. We are right by the lake, Lake Geneva. How are you feeling, Julie? It's great waking up this early for a nice walk. Are you vlogging this one? Yeah, okay. yeah I'll vlog it. Check out Julie's channel if you want. Uh, she's going to be vlogging it as well. And it's pretty cool. We're going to get to see uh, a little bit of houses and just like the lake and all that other stuff. So we'll do the loop. Uh, the 26 mile lakeside trail around Geneva Lake was used by several Indian cultures starting as early as 2500 BC and continuing up to 1836 AD. Chief Bigfoot's Petawanami tribe walked the trail between their villages at present Fontana, William Bay, and one of Lake Geneva, which was located in the park. Later, the trail became the, wor the workman's path from Lake Geneva to summer estates of wealthy Chicago families. And I would imagine uh, probably Milwaukee families as well, because Milwaukee is not super far either. It's a really cool lake, especially in the summer. Right now, it's not a lot of people. But in the summertime, this, this is the place to be. Everyone comes here to swim. Um, it's just different than like Lake Michigan, you know. It's got that like vacation vibe feel and not like a city feel. So that's kind of cool. There's like a boat with a crane and they're lowering the, um, the boat oh. things, the boat dock things. So they just brought, it looks like they brought all of these in here. So people can uh, start putting the boats back onto the water. But that's how they do it. They use that crane right there and they just put them into the water. It's pretty cool to actually see it. So in about a month from now, people are gonna be coming out here and enjoying you know, boating and all the different activities here. But I love these houses here too. It's like they got some interesting architecture. They're, some of them are way, way too big, but definitely cool architecture to come out here. And some of these houses, from the looks of it, they're empty right now. People come here, these are like weekend homes. Uh, it feels so good to be hiking right now, you guys don't even know. Um, we did a 20 miler, we didn't film it though, up in the North Shore. Uh, just recently a few days ago and I got my legs back going again and uh, I was telling Julie I'm like let's go do the Lake Geneva loop because <laughs> I've never done it and like I love architecture I love being next to the water so we're gonna be doing more training hikes and then just you know picking up the mileage but yeah this this is this should be a fun one because I've lived here you know near this trail for such a long time and it's been on my list but uh never done it and the crazy thing is these boards right here that we're walking on these are all provided by the generous uh homeowners out here <laughs> so they do all of this like they basically maintain the path i mean they use it as well but not only do they have to maintain their homes and landscaping but they have to maintain the path so people can walk by and you're going to see different uh it's you know every homeowner can kind of make his own little custom path so right here we're walking on these beautiful boards and then further down it could just be you know a uh, little bricks gravel a little bit of a mixture of everything so go get your trail magic Julie <laughs> me i was tying my shoe and it put it up there all right guys <laughs> julie was asking me if there's a map the map's right here julie okay so there's the geneva lake we are right here and we are going all around this lake so fontana is this way 11 miles 
Black Point is this way, and we are heading, um, where are we heading? I don't know. We're going that way, though. We're going that way. <laughs> so I don't even know. All the arrows are pointing their own direction yeah. right now. Whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. It gets pretty narrow here as you can see people are putting the boat docks down some parts of the trail you're just walking on a little sliver here just maneuvering around but this kind of makes it interesting you know just a different uh different type of trail that they have here pretty cool there's a lot of uh just different projects going on, but this looks like like pretty much a brand new house being built. And uh, it looks like it's gonna be nice. Man, this is so pretty. Way better than uh, the trails by Lake Michigan, I gotta be honest. Lake Geneva, so much better than Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan, oh yeah, treehouse. All right, there's Lake Geneva back there. And we're heading this way. Watch your head. another new house that just got put up and look at this view that they're gonna have that's insane but uh, yeah the construction has been going around there's just so many houses popping up here but it's beautiful to see the variety of architecture they have in this area a lot of uh, people from Chicago and Milwaukee a lot of the big business owners this is where they vacationed Lake Geneva so you'll see a lot of uh, houses here from companies like Wrigley and uh, just like the Morton Salt Company um, you know and just like all these big company names own uh, vacation homes here some are small some are medium size and some are just like pretty much a castle This house right there, that little house there, and then this house, they all look exactly the same, same style. So probably the same property owner. Whew. Oh wow, somebody's got like a boat dog garage right on the water so cool yeah, there's all boats. oh another beautiful home absolutely gorgeous design and that house right there i think is a very famous house here in lake geneva all right guys this house right here was uh designed in 1906 by uh for uh, george harris uh for the from the harris bank Landscaping was designed by the Olmsted brothers and their father uh, Frederick Olmsted actually designed uh, the Washington DC gardens and Central Park as well So this this is considered one of the you know most beautiful houses in Lake Geneva. It's really cool All right walking down the yellow brick road literally Layering up.
patio with a fire pit. Oh, so cool. That's a cool house. You can only see about half of it, but got a nice little brick trail. No biking on the path. All right, another brand new house. Looks like it was just built. Looks a little weird, but kind of cool. All right, that's an interesting historic house right there. Kind of cool uh, being back more of a normal neighborhood, a little bit smaller houses here, and you see a few people walking around. Whereas with the giant houses, we were the only ones on trail. So there's a handful of people here walking about. Let's cut off to Julie, she's been ahead. And uh, she said, have I ever seen a robot lawnmower? And I have not. I have never seen one, and there's a lawnmower right there. Hey, Mr. Robot Lawnmower. Either a lawnmower or a fertilizer. That's awesome. Is it fertilizer or it's a fertilizer. Because it's quiet. Did you say hello to it? Yeah, no, it scared me. He was actually coming up to the trail. Oh, he was? The trail is just for people. It was coming up to the trail and then it turned around. Don't be scaring Julie lawnmower. And I feel like my bladder is going to burst. Oh my god, same. Same. That's the only problem with this is like when yeah. you go to the bathroom, because it's all private property. Yeah. Of. So I'm just going to knock on somebody's door and be like, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm out here on this trail. I bet you that doing beach the loop. over there is one of those beaches or the playground, the camp. Free. Porta potty, maybe. Damn, that's a nice house. And I gotta come here when uh, all the docks are off the trail. I think it's gonna look even prettier because right now it seems like they're under construction with all the, just so many people putting docks into the water and all that stuff. There's a possibility of a restroom here, so we're gonna check it out. There's some kind of building further up ahead. 
in this park. So this is gonna be the first bathroom that we're encountering. Is that a restroom? Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. All right, Wisconsin, you guys did okay. There's a porta potty, so <laughs> it's clean. Too. Yeah, it's clean too. It's so like actual bathroom. Williams Bay. There's a little map. Thank you for the restroom, Williams Bay. And uh, yeah, so we just keep on trucking along here and um, checking out all the sites and the willow trees and all the flowers that are coming out. And I hope you guys go on a hike, um, check out some of the pretty scenery wherever you live. Some nice rustic style cabins here. And here the trail goes right underneath, like a little balcony overhang. All right. All right, we are in the George Williams College and the lake path has a little bit of a detour, but this is the college, it's right on the lake and uh, they're redoing the lake path right now. So we're detouring. All right guys, a little over nine miles in. We're gonna have lunch by this uh, sundial. And there's some nice benches here. Pretty cool. All right, this is the lunch spot. I got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I got a Slim Jim for now. That's a lot of birds. Some cool houses here. All right guys, we're walking through, it looks like it says Gordy's Surf Center and Gordy's Boathouse. Gordy's uh, just some kind of resort. So we're on Fontana, this is the Fontana Pier. And uh, yeah, just walking through Fontana right now. That is a pretty cool, neat surfer statue here. Short path, Fanta Fontana. We came off this bridge, circled around here, 
and then now we are by the water that beach was closed off so you kind of have to go that way but uh yeah all right here's another nice house being remodeled Oh, that's a nice uh, homeowner. Welcome to Pier 503. Feel free to sit. That's a cool one, like a modern cube style. Wow, that's amazing. That tower type of thing looks so cool. Now that's really neat. It's uh, made out of huge logs, which is incredible. And check out this sculpture here. How long? I mean, so Julie's making a bet. Basically, I love architecture, so I love filming all these houses. I've never seen like most of these houses. I've done sections here before, so I haven't seen a lot of these. So Julie's making a bet. She's saying my video's gonna be 45 minutes long. Because <laughs> you just film every single little thing. Guys, you know, give this video a thumbs up because <laughs> honestly, I'm putting in the work, you know. <laughs> and uh, look at these houses, man. You know, I'm just hoping one of these people comes out and says, hey, do you want to camp on our property? And I'm like, okay, yeah. Or yeah, live in the, yeah. So this is a nice area. They got a statue here and it says, please sit and rest and enjoy God's creation. Another small house being built. Yeah, some places we're walking right by people's houses. So Lake Geneva, six miles. So there we are, 15.6. That's where we're at, where the little star is. There's Lake Geneva, down that way. Oh, it's beautiful get to walk through these people's like gardens so nice so judging from this view there's a lot of smoke out there somewhere I don't know what's going on I didn't do anything it's crazy house or something or ah. I'm 
just kidding, guys. The hike is fine, but it just smells like, you know, um, like a wildfire almost. But yeah, we're far away from it. But yeah, you could tell from here that it's smoky out there. all right back on trail it took us a little bit because uh we had to go around some little area and then now we walked to a dead end over there and then we just figured it out you just follow this little path here well, you All right, we're almost done. All right, guys. There's uh, downtown Lake Geneva right there. So we're almost finishing it up. Almost a 21 miles. So it's more than we thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah. Whew. Definitely feeling it. Hoping we can find a little lunch place. Alright guys, we are 21.77 and let's see what time it is. 3.46 p.m. So, 3.46 p.m., not bad. And uh, I think we're going to go to Popeye's right now and finish, finish up today. Hope you enjoyed the video and check in with you guys later.